dear English speakers, and I'm sorry that all of these vlogs have been in Norwegian, um, but this is mostly uh, been to the Norwegian audience and that is why. But I want you to be a part of the trip that I've had to Bangkok uh, because it's been one of the most meaningful experiences of my life. And therefore, I am making a summary English video for you. This has been a project. Um, with Giving Tuesday, which is the um, kind of opposite of Black Friday, where instead of buying tons of Christmas presents and other materialistic things, you give money to charity on the Tuesday after Black Friday, which, which will be the 28th of November. And here in Norway, this is a very new t thing, and this is the first year that we have kind of launched it and lots of youtubers in Norway are joining to give money to charities in Norway and we have experienced so many things that NMS is doing in Bangkok this is house of praise a daycare for children <laughs> This house will be a new two-story building so the children can stay here until they start school at the age of four. Here we're waiting outside to go in to visit a mother who has their child in one of the kindergartens that we have been visiting. She has three girls and only one of them lives with her. This is the second uh, kindergarten we're visiting and here we're going to have some teaching and some painting and just spend time with these children. home for pregnant women who has no one to help them and a woman who has just given birth. Like what, what, do, what is the reason for the women being here? How are those stories? Um, mostly because when they're in crisis in life, sometimes they, when they know they're pregnant and then they tell, um, they tell their boyfriends mm -hmm. and then they want to be like, oh, you're pregnant, goodbye. 
Women at this uh, home make these angels for Christmas decorations. So you can buy it and then support the women or uh, this home and the women make it. And they also make this uh, Christmas card so you can support. Or also you can donate with information that I put in the description box of this video. <laughs> Both inside. I just made this. I'm very proud of myself. We also made an awesome day for the older kids at the home of praise, where they have afternoon activities after school. We made slime, YouTube style, and big soap bubbles. Let's play this game. It's called Do Not Guess the Number. Okay, I have a number here. For example, I have a number 54. You do not guess 54. Oh, okay. okay. If you guess you get it, it, then you have to. Yeah. If you guess it, you have to choose. You, you have the opportunity to spin. And when you spin, you get to eat the food that you spin. Uh, you go first. Okay. 55, 200. 56. 57, 200. Think about 56. Okay. Uh, 81. 57 to 80. 79. 57 to 78. Okay. <laughs> 76. 57 to 75. You're still with 64. 57 to 63. Yeah, 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 yeah. 60. Me, 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 me. 60? No, no. 61 or 62? 61. <laughs> 62. <laughs> 62. Okay, I was so, so nervous, my hand is like this. I was like, I'm going to hold him still. Yay! Okay, let's take a look at this one. Oh! Also, see if you're me. Now we are going to visit the Emmanuel Church Music School with Don. This is Don. Um, actually, the school is start from the missionary from Norway. She's named Sulva Johannesen. And after that, when they open the home of press in the, the Sram area, it's near my house. And she, she finds some kids. She walked around the Sarum area and find the kids and meet me in oh, yeah. the playground. And she took me to, to study with her. Okay. Oh. oh, when I was eight years old. Eight years old. Yeah. They teach kids violin to have activities after school. 
and to show them that music can take them places. made the um, play area here a little bit uh, more educational for the kids so they can learn the traffic and so we're gonna teach the kids that and also some fancy words for like what they can do and play with the sand like, dig it and mold it and yeah other activity words so they can learn English from the beginning because that's uh, very helpful for them when they um, when they well, for their education. Uh, so that's what we've been doing today, and um, I hope you want to help out this project if you can. Um, you can send a text message uh, the NMS Karin. I will write it here to a number, and I hope it works for foreign people as well. And give these kids a better future. Thank you. Hopefully. Uh, you can, after this video, understand more of the Norwegian videos. And um, yeah, I'm very happy to have been part of this project. And I am very happy to share this with you, also in English. Thank you for watching. <laughs>